Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. That's right, new week, new mods. Let's dance. Aliens of the Commonwealth, Xeno Aliens by JWitz2020. Xenomorphs are here. I, uh, I, mean, I mean aliens, not xenomorphs due to copyright and all that jazz, but they are still here. Look at them. Currently, cats are replaced, so no more lovable kitties. Just weird looking aliens just walking around. Audio for cats is also replaced, so you get some beautiful sounds from these not-so-cuddly creatures. If you have craftable cats by MM137, you can now craft aliens of different colors too. In the future, Jay Wits will make a standalone version, but for now, it's a cat replacer, and can't complain, it's pretty cool. The Somerville Place trailer, Player Home, Better Homes and Bunkers, Volume 5 by Red Rocket TV. Another addition to Better Homes and Bunkers, this mod adds a nice trailer player home right next to Somerville. Out front, you've got a few lawn decorations just chilling out. Then you've got your power armor workstation, doghouse, and a large storage section. There's also a button on the front that can change the doghouse to a couch if you don't have dog meat with you, which is pretty nice. Out back, you're treated to a wonderful view of a swamp. I mean, it's Somerville. I don't know what you were expecting. The view comes with a grill gnome checkers, a couch, and a Nuka-Cola vending machine. Inside is every workbench you can imagine. You also get adjustable lights and blinds. Everything is compact and neat, and the lighting looks really great. I don't have an ENB, so it'll probably look even better if you do have one. There's also a personal terminal with information about the trailer, stockpiling inventory, exterior lighting control, and a safe control as well. Junkers Air Barge by Spiffy Sky Trooper. Located northwest of Vault 111, this flying home is the perfect place to relax. Outside, you've got your little chill area with all the amenities, power armor work area, weapon workbench, and even a picnic table. Upstairs, you've got the outdoor garden, cooking station, and chemistry bench, along with the relaxing sound of jets blasting nonstop. Ah yes, home sweet home. Inside the suspiciously quiet interior, you're greeted with a living room with TV and chairs. In the corner, you have a desk with a personal computer, and the kitchen is on the same floor as the living room, so you don't have to walk too far for a refreshment. Plus, there's a bathroom connected directly to the kitchen, only separated by one curtain, so you can waft in the poop smell while you're making lasagna. Upstairs, you've got some beautiful murals, and this is also where the bedroom is, complete with a bobblehead stand, dresser, and random knickknacks, plus your bed. The air barge cannot be piloted or move anywhere, but it's a pretty cool player home and it's a novel idea too. Doom 2 SSG animation by Haru. A beautiful nod to Doom 2. This replaces the double barrel shotguns animations and sounds to a more retro feel. Running, firing, and reloading animations are new, and firing and reloading sounds as well. You can still aim and bash along with upgrade the shotgun, but the standard animations are now in Doom World. Hunting Rifle Sound Overhaul by Laszlo. A simple sound replacer, this takes the hunting rifle's firing and reloading sounds and makes them have more power behind them. Here is the original. And here's the after. Assaultron Combatron by Red Portal. Another addition to robot parts, this adds a couple of pairs to Assaultron heads, torsos, arm armor, and legs. Also included is the option to add weapons to shoulder mounts like a mini nuke or a plasma cannon. Just make sure your robots detect the enemies a little bit further than close range. Other... Otherwise, okay, great, great. You guys gotta like walk away and then shoot. I know I gave you melee weapons for arms. It's probably my fault. Besides that though, you're good to make your own robot army. Uh, more, more robot army. Raider Quad Bike by M. Another vehicle mod, this time won by the Magnificent M. This adds a new custom crafting area to build your Raider Quad Bikes. There are three craftable quad bikes. You've got the quad bike, raider quad bike, and covered raider quad bike. That reminds me a lot of Fred Flintstone's car. All three are put into a neat compact grenade that when you throw them, it will unleash the power of the quad. Only one quad bike can be out at a time, so if you try to release two, your previously released one will turn back into the grenade. And this is because they're just, they're far too powerful. Um, if there are two quads out, 
Uh, it's, it's the second coming of Christ, and things just, it's downhill. Weird Mod of the Week! Aero Celine Dogmeat Edition by Derpsdale. Dogmeat always gets stuck with chunks of steel or rubber strapped to his face, so why not make that steel and rubber look like a beautiful angel? Aero Celine includes three separate armor pieces for Dogmeat to show the world just how fabulous he is. The helmet has an armor rating of 5, the body armor of 15, and the wings have 5. All can be constructed at a chemistry bench under the very easy to find dog armor section. He may not be able to see, but damn, he looks good doing it. Not seeing, that is. Can't, he can't see a thing. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. Hope you enjoyed, I know I did. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I will check them out. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the future. Oi!